Hi, welcome to my latest project. I've always been fascinated with Arduino programming and displays, and I've combined my interest in solar energy to create a display for a Victron MPPT charge controller. There are two varieties of Victron MPPTs, Smart Solar and Blue Solar. The Smart Solar has low energy Bluetooth and the settings can be configured using an Android app. The Blue Solar doesn't have Bluetooth. I suppose it can be bought as an optional extra. They have a serial interface called the VE Direct. This is a four pin port on the bottom of the charge controller. I've used this port to gather the data in real time and send it to a display using an ESP32 development board. Firstly, a word of caution. Victron admit that this port has no protection circuitry and connections to this carry a risk that will certainly cause the unit to malfunction permanently if wired wrongly. Victron do not have a set voltage for the logic level on its VE direct port. Some have a 3.3 logic level and some have a 5 volt logic level. It is important not to connect 5 volt to a 3 volt logic level. Also, there will be wires from the port near battery voltages. Any contact between these will destroy the MPPT. So it's best to cover any exposed battery voltages near the MPPT while a project is being built. I also used a breakout board for the ESP32 so the wires to it would be of a socket type which offers better protection against short circuits if the wires should drop down. The ESP32 has a logic level of 3.3 volts and the wires from the EVE port go straight to the serial 2 pins. The link is purely a request for voltage and power levels and does not in any way change any settings in the unit. There are five data types collected, panel voltage and wattage, battery voltage, battery charge and low discharge currents. The connector to the MPPT is called a 4-pin PH 2mm JST. Although only three wires are used, the 5-volt connector is not needed. It is best to make up these leads while this is not actually connected because of the risks. The project details can be found on the Hackster website. The link is in the description. I found that the ESP32 can be reprogrammed or updated even while it's connected to the MPPT serial port, as long as the ground wire has been disconnected. I cannot stress the importance of the risk of damage to the MPPT enough and only do this if you are familiar with the Arduino programming and willing to accept that this may cause permanent damages if, if it's done carelessly. The project will probably expand to include BLE, especially for the blue solar units. Thank you for watching. 